Hey everybody, welcome back to Palm Tree Life. I'm Tim, and today we move our capital uh, to a place that would give us better development, and we fight off a lot of invading armies. Let's get into it. Well, hey everybody, welcome back. We uh, are kind of in the middle of a lot of things. We're trying to learn the Greek language. Um, we are a scholar. We're up to 24. We actually have great prowess, too. And just a reminder, we're cynical, wrathful, greedy. Our wife is ambitious, just, and cynical. And we do have a player heir now. And he's bossy, and we're going to try to go the stewardship route with him just to add more to our uh, holdings with him. We do have two more sons now. Neither one of them have uh, a lot of... Um, or have their traits yet and so we'll look at that uh, we are stressed we need to lose some stress we have kind of grown down here along the Byzantine Empire and we have added this uh, holding which would allow us to build relationship with Mashriki but before we start doing all of that I really need to de develop the uh, county here of Talavi uh, or Tel Aviv, maybe it's Tel Aviv. Right here we got monthly growth of 4.1 and in this one we have monthly growth of 0.3. So how much of this is coming from, okay, so a lot of it is coming from pouring our development into this. So existing development is negative 2.1. We're not getting that penalty there. Why is Let's check this out. Existing development. The increased development in county steward test suffers from diminishing returns. The more development a county already has, the more development growth is penalized. By default, counties reach the maximum existing development penalty at 10 development. Each era has an innovation which increases its limit. So obviously we haven't gotten the next innovation. Which would be... Is it communal government? Yeah. So I thought, yeah, counties now reach the maximum existing development penalty at 20. It's known to us. So why am I getting it at 10? Is it because it's not my capital? So what I'm thinking is, I want to move my capital to, to lobby or Tel Aviv. If somebody knows how to pronounce that correctly, feel free to tell me and I'll, I'll get it right. I, I know Tbilisi is the natural capital, <clears throat> but somebody brought out, and I can't remember who it was, but somebody brought out that more cities equal more development over time, which is very true. You can see even in the development here that they're getting guild halls and, and things of that nature. So, And we've already got another city being developed here. So I want to move my capital to Talavi. And we've still got these two here. And I think I might put another holding up in the mountains here. And then I can put another city over here, if possible. So we can just add one more. I do like that extra holding up in the mountains, though. Uh, so in doing all of that, I need to move my capital. So I'm wondering if the development penalty goes away if we move our capital there. So let's see. And... We still have it, existing development penalty, which I just don't understand, I guess. And here it's plains, and this is hills, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why. I don't understand. Unless it's just the county capital. I'm not real sure why we're getting that penalty, but I'm still going to develop it. So, after lots of hard work, nothing. It is impossible to learn the Greek language. No matter how hard I try, I speak like a barely weaned babe and write like an unlettered blind surf who's missing most of their fingers. Bah, this was a waste of time. I admit defeat. Greek is beyond my capabilities. No, I need to start over. Okay. Um, it ends my scheme, but it doesn't mean that I can't learn it again later. So we'll end the scheme to learn it. And can I try again? I can't do it until August 31st, which is... Right? A 
about now. Oh. Attempt to learn Greek language. So, there we go. Yeah, so that's way better than, t than doing a bunch of stress. I just had to wait basically a month. Well, that's nothing. All right, who do we need to sway now? Let's check out our vassals and see who hates us. They are very good and they hate us and they are a minion. So let's sway them. And we got good cultural acceptance with the Arminian, so why does she hate us? I'm a lunatic, no alliance is powerful clan vassal. Wants a seat on the council. Well, that's not gonna happen. Well, I she's a good she's actually a good chancellor, but I already have somebody on there. I could make her She doesn't like me that much though. But I I could throw her down into the intrigue side of things because she is average, even though he is excellent. We'll leave it for now, and we're swaying her, so let's see what, see what can happen with that. My spymaster is coming to me with grave news. It is my sister that is plotting against Mudra. Who cares? He kind of likes me. We can spend piety to get 500 gold. Let's do that. And... Let's help build something here. So we can do farms and fields. What does that accomplish? Whoop. No. Oh, okay. I thought I, I thought I chose one accidentally. Uh, it does do development growth over time to do farms and fields. I don't think the rest of those will. So we're gonna do farms and fields there. They're fine. What's the next thing we want to add? We want to add barracks. So we'll add a barracks in there. While hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my vassals Spruny, Spruhi, in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most noble lady person you have heard of? I can spend 75 and get 10. Or Yeah, we'll spend it. Why not? Iron Constitution. We want to live for a while here. Alright, Moraga actually won. Can't. Oh, I have no more truce with them. So I can take all but the one they just took except I don't have enough prestige. If I just take one, it actually does cost less prestige. We'll go less prestige and take the one to just help keep connecting those and then we can take all of that one that should work out that way does he still have all the alliances he does all right well we'll do it that way then let's bring our troops up here There are a few things I enjoy more than Dedica's company. She encouraged me to throw plates and scream into pillows, and after the emotional storm died down, I actually did feel better. After this short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm lucky to have a friend like Dedica. Twelve stress. 
gone. My spy master. So we can throw. We'll go Chora in there. She's 22. Yeah, we want her around for a while. to come back here. Of course. One second one. Alright, we gotta slow this down a little bit. Going a little too fast for me. I no longer have an antiquarian. Um, magnificent brooch. Who is this? My nephew? I'm not giving it to you. We're just going to avoid it. I'm sure that means it's going to be bad, but whatever. Counselor died. Steward. Hmm. So I can move her there. And I'll assign her there. Why did I go down to six? I obviously lost something. I lost stewardship ability, but I'm not sure why. Well, I'm going to have to give away to Leash. Um, he looks interesting. So does he. With 20. Yeah, I don't like the lust, but I need a good commander. I've arrived into lobby to pay homage to you, glorious patriarch, as a show of my loyalty. Um, yeah, we receive Shepherd. Serve me well, chieftain Shepherd. You gain three core grandeur and prestige and renown. I'll take it all. Thank you. Uh oh. My attempts to align Spurry my, to my interests, I found an opportunity. I think I, I think I could argue that our goals are in fact the same. So I am going to lose this. I'll just maintain subtle, sub, subtlety, subtlety. Oh my word. Okay, so what do we got? The Darabian de Jure War for the Chieftain of Upper Kabur. So. That is over here. They're trying to take that back. They have a lot more troops than me. Eh, let's do one thing at a time. Try to get this one first. Pallid individual who looks as if she spent her entire life skulking underground and lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard <clears throat> tell you might want a secret passage installed. Okay. So I don't want this trait deviant. I can get the trait sadistic. <laughs> a concealed torture room where I can get away with more. I would lose money, but I would also lose a ton of stress. I would get 10 court grandeur and 22. I mean, I seem like the guy that would want to be sadistic. I'm greedy, wrathful, and cynical. 
throwing in sadistic seems like it should happen. Like, that seems very logical. So let's do it. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna go for broke on all of it. We're ranked 8th in the world, everybody. Yeah! Definitely be able to break free. Five percent. Let's get to a hundred. That should happen relatively quickly. Okay, we're at a hundred percent. So we can take that one. Uh, we are going to go back to our territory, and then I am going to disband my army. After lots of hard work, I finally learned the Greek language. Endless hours practicing accentuation, sleepless nights, mimicking and flexion, countless lessons, mastering intonation. It was all worth it in the end. During my efforts, I looked to emulate Methodius' accent. I'm sure that he would be impressed with my results. And of course, Greek presence now respect me a great deal more. I feel accomplished. Yeah. So it increases our cultural acceptance by 1%. So, what does that look like then? 25? Um, I kind of want to... Oh, let's go there. Can I learn his language? Yes. Let's learn Arabic. That might help me in conversation there. And I'm going to lose that Mashriki side of things I can just tell. We'll just have to take it back later. I'll come over here just in case, but it's gonna happen. I'm almost I'm almost tempted just to surrender. What do I lose? I spend thirty prestige. Thirty prestige is better than losing everything, and I need to get rid of a holding anyway. Let's just do it. We'll surrender, end that one quickly, and get ready for the dangerous faction coming up here. I think that's that's the direction we're gonna go with this. Um, let's get that one in order. Interesting. So this convinced de jure territory, Chief Dischuria of Uncomps, will be assigned to convince de, de jure territory. The target counter requires its ruler to hand it over to its de jure liege. So who could I do this with? All of them? That is interesting. I didn't know that was an option. We're going to leave it alone, but it, that is interesting. Alright. We can ransom. 
my vassal. Ooh. Yeah, we'll ransom him. We'll see if we can torture somebody else. I will not be threatened. Alright, so. Who do we need to take... Oh, pause that up. So this is the people against us up here. So let's bring this up here. It's going to take five months to raise them. So I guess we'll just wait. Wait four months. Three months. Has the city been built? Yep, we got our city up and running. So let's build the guilds. Let's go attack these dudes. Of course you would attack. Holy War for the Duchy of Shirvan, which is up there. Okay. So we are getting picked apart. They're not that good. Where are they? They don't have a lot, so maybe we can beat them. We just gotta beat our rep. We gotta beat the faction inside here quickly. There we go. Hopefully we can capture him and end this. Like that. That's done. I know it's going to take six months, but I want to let us kind of recuperate here. We'll come out right there. We should be able to do our... Um, Holy order as well. That should help us. All right, prisoners can be ransomed. Let's. We're gonna have to look at these prisoners here. So this dude, my brother-in-law. Uh, man, he's under attack everywhere. There's quite a few people that don't like him. I should be able to revoke his title. Yep. a church holding all right we're gonna take this from you for sure I can't revoke the other one I can kill him um He's known as a criminal. I will lose stress. We'll wait on that one. This dude. I can revoke his title. I can revoke his title. We'll take money from you. We will revoke your title. Aw, oh, you don't have enough money. Guess what you get to do? She's wandering, ooh. A patriarch loses 10 opinion of me. I didn't think about that with the torturing. And we'll revoke from you. Prisoner and vassal. We will revoke from you. 
Alright. Can I torture him since he is not... Yeah, there we go. Why complicate matters? There's nothing like the good old rack. The sound when bones and sinews snap is quite unforgettable, but not as unforgettable as the pain Manucher is soon to experience. Ah, oh, I could listen to his screams for hours. He gains the trait lunatic. Okay. So there's that. Now let's get back into... So she could leave for 10. She has claims. I'm not worried about those claims. Not worried about those claims. You don't get to go anywhere. You don't get to go anywhere. So I could let him out for 50. Let him out for 50, but we're going to wait on that. Let's hand these off. So, Bata, my nephew. Let's see if we have any just anywhere. Here we go. Andy's a gardener. All right. You get that one. My guest, your Georgian. get that one. Tau. I'll give that one to you. I need to get some just guys in vassals, even though they're not the everything that I would hope for. Um, I just have to do it. Here we go. Oh, that's my castle holding, but I can't grant it. Interesting. I can grant this one. Okay, you can have that one. To leash. We'll give it to. We'll look for whoop, orthodoxy. Georgians, orthodoxy. Take away just. All right, I'll give it to my nephew. Why not? Intrigue courtier. And one more. I just can't give it up day long. So I don't understand why, but I can't give it up. All that's good. And now I gotta remember who I'm fighting. That took forever. Okay. Let's get into it then. My courtier Laurentius has been wounded and his flesh has contracted foulness and swelling. If the right kind of treatment is administered and Jesus is merciful, he should make it. There is nothing that can be done. So we're looking for the green stripe guys. They actually have more people involved. So let's do, we can call my house members. So we will call them. Not endorsed by my patriarch. All right, she's good. Let's sway him now. I need the castle holdings back, or the temple holdings back. I can do one for my son. He is learning education. Obviously, that needs to be me then. What about my last son? He is stewardship and learning. We'll go, let's go learning. And I'm not going to be able to. Is he learning? Yes. Sure, why not? Uh... 
All right, allies are coming. I do want to see how old is my daughter, 15, and I have no arranged marriage with her yet. Hellas, ooh, Duchy of Thracian. That would give me a huge amount of troops, though. We're going that one. So if I need him, I can get him now, right? Yeah, you're gonna join me. Okay. So we've got a lot of people jumping in now. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult with sufficient tutelage, even as a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards diplomatic influence, such as Georgiana, can come to truly understand it. So she is a gray eminence, so she's really good. Good job, Georgiana. All right, let's get our holy order and hire them. Raise our troops. Where are they attacking me? Like, are they even here? I don't even see them. Like, are they traveling somewhere? <laughs> They're just... I guess we're just gonna go over and get it. Not really sure what else to do. They don't seem to be here. as quickly as we can. Of course, Kaganet Kazaria. Of course you would come and attack us. Does he have any prestige? Hey, look. The first one in his long line that actually has prestige that isn't in the negative tens of thousands. <sighs> Alright, everybody's attacking. Here we go. Everybody wants a piece of us. to pay homage and I kicked him out the door <sighs> that was dumb oh well can't really help it to go back, but maybe I can t get one more attack before that happens. Alright. So, let's come back here. Where are my allies at? These are my allies, okay. Let's come back to my allies, then. After lots of hard work, I finally learned the Arabic language. Endless hours practicing accentuation, sleepless nights, mimic mimicking inflection, countless lessons mastering intonation. It was all worth it in the end. I feel accomplished. All right, good. Prisoner Sumbot has escaped my dungeon. Oh well. Hang on. Whoa, we got smoked even with our allies. That's not good. What if we 
disband our army. We got five months. We can put it right there. She is a good skilled tactician. Let's get her married off too. Who can we get? He's a good. I think that's a good one. All right. Got another alliance. Let's get on in here. I can call house members. I need you in all of them. Uh, she can marry. My sister, matrilineal, prowess. We'll take you. I can hire a court physician. My wife and soulmate. She's poor. We may actually have to get a physician. And get a guardian for Bruh, my son. So let's go with her. The world is full of dangers, even to a patriarch and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. All right, so he's good. He's okay. He's a renowned physician to tool. We'll take the tool. Sure. All right, three months we can raise them. Two months. Hey, another son, why not? <laughs> All right. I'm fine with holding court. I don't really have time for it right now though. Get on in here, boys. Like, why are you not joining me? I don't understand why you're not joining me. Get in here. There we go. That's right. Um, split off an army. Generous, calm, and craven. We'll go with you. 
All right. Fight that battle off. Now we got to go get this one down here. My son and heir, JV, has been impressed with one of the household Azwarian for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, he's been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Work hard and you can master anything. So diligent, generous, patient. Yeah, we want you to be diligent, dude. We love diligence here. that back oh, got another one My daughter's marrying my vassal nurse has had an extra marital affair with Gulico guess you're going to jail Discovered that Nicorette, Nicorette, <laughs> Nicorette, maybe. Uh, feudal taxes are increased, or I can get a hook. We'll get, take a hook just so she can't rebel against me. Alright, that one's on its way to a win. Let's go get this one. Your vassal, Marad, recently found himself in a bit of trouble. Lala smiles resolutely as she continues. I made sure the situation resolved itself, and to mention you as the benefactor. Excellent work. Yeah, we'll take the hook. Came in too late. And we win. We'll take that win. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go get this guy. Inspired person. So we have a metalsmith inspiration. She wants to forge a crown. She is very competent at her craft. Stewardship, prowess, and diplomacy. All average and poor. 63 for a crown and right now ooh I got another extra I got an extra thing what did I get oh it's about done so I've got okay I gotta repair all those but my current crown is prestige and building construction cost it's master level work I don't think I need another crown right now that's master masterwork so famed magnificent and it's excellent eh. yeah I think we're gonna wait but we need to repair a lot of these let's repair I don't understand what we're trying to show here. Prowess is fine. Alright, I think we're all good there. I'm not going to have her make that because I don't think we need it. kids don't need friends. I was shocked when I caught Rahula trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting chieftain Sumbat. Well, I mean, he tried to <laughs> he tried to overthrow us. I don't really care. And he escaped our prison, so steal whatever you want. 
He confessed he had thought he could get away with it, but now knows it was wrong. So honest, deceitful, or humble. We'll take honest, I guess. If we win this, I think I think that'll do it. Boom. Get out of here. Disband. That's right. We got quite a few prisoners. Is this our vessel? Nope, just prisoner. You can go. He is my vassal. But he likes me. Alright, you can go. You can go. You can go. And he's not my vassal right now. You can go. You make for quite a bit of money. These crimes cannot go unpunished. And I want more money. <laughs> okay. Uh, my prisoner, Alicio. Yeah, we'll let her go. Let's add in, or let's actually, let's do our situation here. A flock of robed men burst into my throne room, hectically searching the floor and uprooting everything from chairs to skirts in frantic search. Patriarch David, cries one. We are the followers of Pasheng, the Headless, a great holy man who has been decapitated as part of a prophecy God gave him at birth. As often happens the holy figures, his head starts rolling away. We have been chasing it through the land and are certain it rolled up the hill hillock into your castle. You have the leave of my castle, which loses me grandeur. I don't think so. Let me join the search. No. I will not allow a cult to rummage through my court. It could be that he will, the cult will be back. No. We're going to do that. All right. Let's hold court since we didn't get to because we were in the middle of the war. My lord, I regret to inform you that I am at the end of my tether. My vassal, Shapur, is clearly exasperated. The people over which I should rule are, are an unc uncontrollable mob of unruly barbarians with, with ridiculous customs and a terrible taste for food. All my efforts so far have been in vain. It just seems impossible to make civilized people out of them. I am afraid a strong intervention from above is the only solution for them now. Jorius, show them the right way. So starts to promote the culture task. What are they? The culture are Elamite. So that would switch them. We respect the traditions. Popular opinion. Shipper wouldn't like me. As long as they pay the time. I think we're going to do res that we respect their traditions. I am, because I don't really care about them as much. I'm faced with Tamari Lavanchivili. Zved Ginzi's sad eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as her mother, Govardi, gently ushers her towards my throne. Patriarch, she laments, the girl has been at Levant's court with no one to watch over her since the arrest of her dear papa. Please look to her future. What can be done with such a child? Uh, my hands are full, but I will find her a home. Gives me stress. Unfortunate, but not the crown's problem. I'll take on stress. My guest, Farron, approaches my throne with a smirk on his face and bows deeply. Greetings, Your Majesty. During my recent trip to the Byzantine Empire, I learned some fascinating tidbits about several of Basilius Methodius' subjects. I would be happy to share these with you for a price. Reveals every secret he knows. I gain tyranny, which I don't want, and be gone, rumor monger. Yeah, I'd rather just do that. What is my grandeur? I am fourth in the world. Fourth in the world. France, Abbasid, and the Byzantines. 
and the Kingdom of Georgia, fourth. Take that, world. What does the world have that Georgia doesn't have? The Georgians rule. All right. Uh, I did all that. Let's build some buildings. To add... Construct farms and fields. We're good there. We have one. We can't upgrade the castle battlements yet. So we'll upgrade the barracks. We can add one here. So we got hill forts. We'll go barracks. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Can we upgrade the city? Nope, not yet. Look in Tbilisi. Can we actually add? We cannot. We don't have the innovations yet to do that. We're almost done there. Lori, let's add in the barracks. and towers we can do barracks we'll do hunting grounds for sure all right we got the rest there done and then Dalem we can do ooh quarries what does quarries add over time development growth quarries is good then we'll do the quarries All right, I think I'm gonna stop the episode right here. We got to fight everybody off and uh, that's about, <laughs> that was a job and a half. And we're the top five court in the world. That's amazing. Thank you so much for engaging, checking it out. It's been fun to see the Kingdom of Georgia develop. I hope you're having as much fun watching as I am playing. Uh, and if you have any ideas, feel free to throw them out. Thank you so much for engaging and I'll see you next time.